Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to properly pay contractors that work for you. Now a contractor is someone that could be an assistant coach. This could be uh, someone that is a consultant. They could be building your website, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, all right? And this is a big problem that a lot of coaches ask me about. They'll tell me, well, Ben, you know, I have these three assistant coaches. I don't know how to pay them. What's the best way of me doing it? And 99% of coaches that ever ask me this question, they are always in the mode of paying cash under the table, which is illegal, right? You shouldn't do that. Or they do Venmo, which I am very against because it's going to be very difficult at the end of the year for you as a business owner to write off that expense right so this is why you need to legally have your business set up the right way otherwise you're going to be paying way more in taxes than you need to be right and i have a very simple rule to follow all right if you have someone who's working for you you have them on a 1099 right if you don't know what that is go google it go figure it out all right get them on a 1099 and pay them online so you can track every cent right and then at the end of the year or quarterly, you can write those things off. So for example, if you run a camp that makes $100, right? And you pay a contractor who would be an assistant coach $20 to be there. If you pay them 20 bucks cash, right? You're still paying taxes on $100, right? You should be paying taxes on $80 because 20 of those dollars you just gave to the assistant coach. So they should be responsible for paying taxes on their end. And the only way to do that is if you really legitimize what you do, right? That's all I have to say about this video. Uh, there's too many people that do cash under the table or Venmo. Uh, that stuff doesn't work if, if you're a real business. Um, and if you clean that up, you will ultimately make way more money, all right? If you have that, if you have your system in place, if those things are dialed in, um, it's very easy to do if you do it the right way. And you know what? I've talked to too many coaches over the past month who've done it the wrong way and they owe way more money in taxes than they need to be paying. So if you do this the right way, all right, you save money um, on taxes and I think you'll thank me later. So that's it for this video. Hope this helps and uh, do things the right way.